All right, we'll give everybody a minute or so to make sure that we're good. Woohoo, I think we're getting it. <laughs> so it'll be just a minute or so to make sure everybody can see me. So it happens when things go a little crazy. There we are. Much better. All right, now that I can see everybody, it's good. And hopefully you can see me. We have been so busy lately. All right, real quick. That's why I'm a little bit late because things have just been nuts okay I'll show you what i've been working on lots of fun this is i just have to sew it up and then this is a pillow kimber bells uh fill in the blank i really like it so that's one like it's been crazy i got the next month's fill in the blank that's going out this week which is peck um kerchiefs blanks that go on the collar and they've got snaps so they can snap right around the collar you get two plus a design in each order let's see what else oh look at that pretty i love this i really 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 love this this is kimber bells uh emma's um collage. I'm sorry, I have to think. There's so much going on in my brain, but this is the one that I made as a sample so people could see and it's on another one of Kimber Bell's blanks. I told you I've been busy. Now all we've got, let's see. I've been working on event stuff, but look at the new tiles we have coming in that we have, have in that came in so they got this darker color on one side and then go all the way to white on the other side this is the next set of ombre towels from Kimberbell. told you it's been nuts 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 stuff besides fabric i mean things have been coming in like crazy thursday we have tomorrow we have Kimberbell's. um Uh, candy, uh, candy corn quilt shop and embellishment and new vel uh, velvet teen coming in and new felt colors coming in. It's going to be huge along with the embellishment kits, but check these out. Look at these. Can you see these? I'm, I'm going to have to do them on the other one. Check out my standing lace, standalone lace bats. And I molded them like that so that they would dry like that and uh, three dimensional. They are three dimensional. But... Aren't they cool? These are going on my pillow, which I'll show you. This is from the new event this year Home Sweet Haunted Home. Look. Isn't that cute? My little haunted house. And I'll show you a little bit close up. Let's see. Isn't it cute? I think it's adorable. We've got leather, we've got glitter, we've got mylar, and a whole bunch of really cute decorating. I told you, but it's been fun. Let me see if I can show you what else I've been working on. Ta -da! Look at my pumpkin. And it's all quilted velveteen. So it has all kinds of bats and swirls and stars on it. 
And then check this one out. And we put a light underneath here and it shines through the windows, which only have um, um, a, what do you call it? Uh, it's a fabric, sheer fabric, like a gauze almost, but that's not what it is, but you get my idea. See my little cat in the window button and it goes all the way around. Isn't it cute? This is also from Home Sweet Haunted Home. And then this is going to be the front of my hello. And I will put or so um, my lace on here. So we've had a, I've had a lot. It's been very, very, very busy. Like ridiculously busy. Okay, well, let's make this quick because these two blocks are pretty simple. I think you're gonna have fun. So we're already on 51 and 52. Hard to believe. Hey, Shaman, how are you? So I'm glad you got to catch me on one of my crazy videos. They're not crazy. They're just, um, I hate the feeling of talking to myself. It's never fun. So I never know who's going to come on and who's not going to come on, who's going to catch it later. But this is our Make the Cut cult along. We started, I want to say in February, and we're doing 100 blocks, two blocks a um, week. And this is what we're making. So they don't have to do the scissors. There's another quilt pattern in here. And this is done by uh, Gnome Angel. And I got permission from her to teach it with you guys. It's a lot of easy blocks and it's a great quilt to master um, the quarter inch seam, master alignment, use a lot of scraps. Um, the background is tons of just neutral colors, neutral fabric scraps. They don't have to be one big yardage. It can be a ton of little yardage. So it's a lot of fun, but this is what I'm doing. It's not a hard quilt. For those of you who don't know, it's really easy, but it's a great quilt to work on. And it's not hassle at all. All right, let's get to it. We're on block 51. Really, really simple block, okay? So all I'm gonna do is sew these two together and then we'll have three columns just sew together. Super, super easy. This is a fun quilt. This is not a quilt to drive yourself crazy with. It's going to be fun. Get it? Everybody's gotta have lots of fun. All right. I don't know why my computer was all messed up, but we've been getting some pretty nasty, nasty storms. Like a lot of ridiculous thunder lightning and it's very hard to get anything done here when it's like that because I have to shut machines off and unplug machines. I haven't gotten any anything done on the long arm at all because it's just been too many storms. All right, now we're just gonna sew them together. This one's really simple. There's no matching seams, simple as you please. I don't tell you what size is because, hi Rose, because you need to buy the pattern from um, Gnome Angel, but I do show you how to put it together. This is a great scrap buster quilt, especially for neutrals and grays. How are things up in Cape Cod, Rose? Good morning, Kim. How are you? Oh, it's a party today. Usually I'm sitting here talking to myself, I swear to God. Hot, yes. Well, Rose, you can come back down here anytime you're ready and be hot. Hot is not Cape Cod right now, I can guarantee you. 
I saw a summer, it gets so hot here with these storms coming over in the afternoon. I'm great, Kim. Um, it, it's ridiculous. It sounds like the world is ending. I mean, literally, like there's a bomb going off right over my store. Yeah, we're, our heat index here in Florida has been over 100 for quite a while. I forget Kim and Charmin. Where are you from? I always forget. I'm terrible like that. The only reason I know Rose is because Rose is from my neck of the woods and she's a snowbird. That's how we met. She's from New England. Things must be crazy on the Cape right now. <laughs> Rose, is that any way to talk to me, telling me to suck it up, buttercup? That's not very nice. I don't know if I like you no more. So Kim is from Tennessee. Kim and Sharman are from the retreat that I went to, which was a lot of fun. So here we go. That's block. 51, super, super easy. And all you have to do is square it up. Now we're gonna work on block 52. I can't believe we're halfway through these blocks already. I have to come up with something different next year. Don't know what yet, but. Thanks Rose, yup. Yeah, I know you hate tourists and things have been kind of crazy up there with everybody getting out for the first time in like, two years. It's crazy down here too. If you hate tourists and you don't want to come to Florida, <laughs> especially not in the winter. All right, I'm going to switch the cameras again and we're going to go to block 52. Here we go. It looks like a big gray, gray blob, but one of the things that I love about this quilt is if you're not great with your seams, um, the only time you really have to worry too much is when, you know, we're dealing with colors in the quilt. That's when you want to make sure and be, pay a little bit more attention to your seams. When it's the neutral colors. Yeah, I know. I saw that rose, especially in P-Town. Um, when it's all these neutral colors, guess what? It doesn't matter. If you miss a seam here or there, Nobody is going to see it. So just enjoy yourself and use it as a learning experience to get better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew these three together. I'm gonna sew these two on, then I'm gonna sew these two onto the square. And then finally these two, this is kind of like, um, almost like a log cabin, but not quite. Oh, that's right, Sherman's from Tennessee too. Tennessee girls. All right, so let's get going. I have been doing embroidery crazy lately and I'm working on a seascape landscape for class in September. Yeah, well, unfortunately Rose, it's pretty crazy down here with the variant too. I just try to be as careful as possible. All of my customers wear masks. My mask policy has not changed since the beginning of this mess. Now I'm just gonna sew this one on. And for those of you who have not seen and are new here, I've got two of these quilts that I cut up because one I did first and then the one that I cut up for um, the videos. That's where these come into place. I love these. I cut up all of my blocks, one block at a time, number them, and then guess what? All I need is this for each class or each block and everything's all done. So I use those a lot. I'm dying to get on the long arm. I wanna do a Mandela 
video and some ruler work because I love rulers and I want to have some fun, but I think I'm trying to get these things done and all the storms. I mean, it's so bad that my machine is unplugged. All of my machines are unplugged because the storms here, I tried originally when I moved into this space to get a, um, oh, what do you call it? A, um, uh, I, I tried to get the electric company to come down and put a shock uh, uh, resistant service onto my electric here and I couldn't fit it into the box. So I have one at home, but I don't have one in the shop. So I literally unplug all of my machines when I don't need help, which makes it kind of hard on the long arm, especially the one with the computer, because I literally charge it up, have to charge it up like an hour before I want to use it. And there's been quite a few times in the last few weeks that I've charged it up, I get ready to get on it and yeah, thunderstorms. And then I have to shut everything back down again and start over from scratch. Very frustrating. All right, now we're just gonna sew these two on. These two blocks today are pretty simple. This one on. I can't wait until Kimberbell's Candy Corn Quilt Shop's here tomorrow. It's going to be so much fun. I've got a dozen coming in, and a good portion of those are already sold. And then I'm hoping the only thing I've left to wait for then is the fabric from the for the kits from the company. I did order those, but as usual, there's a disconnect and waiting between when the fabric comes in and when everything else comes in, which is very, very annoying. Now I'm gonna sew the two sides on, then the top and the bottom, and this week is done. The nice thing about this pattern is there are a hundred different blocks. No two blocks are exactly the same. You get, I've taught you how to do flying geese in multiple different ways. I've taught you how to make sure you don't cut off your points. How I line everything up. There's nothing here that is hard. Everything is pretty easy. It's just a matter of having someone show you how to do it. Most of what I've learned over the years is through trial and error. but I like to pass on whatever information that I've learned to make things easier. Because if it's easier, guess what? It's a lot more fun. And today in the shop is Stitch and Bitch Day. Oops, forgot to shut my phone off. Sorry about that. What that means is you get to stitch for free all day and I get to bitch. That's my day. Nobody's allowed to bitch on stitch and bitch day, but me. Cost of it is you get to listen to me. And we usually have a lot of fun. I never know. Well, with COVID, things have been kind of crazy. But even before that, I never knew who was going to be here when. It's an all day sit and sew. And we have a lot of fun normally, but now I have no idea who's gonna show up when or what. Oh, did I show you guys my little turtle? This was a gift I got at Quilt Retreat. I'm gonna have to move that other, um, my, my monitor because it's very hard to see when it's like this. Isn't it cute? My little turtle. 
Okay, we got one more, and what we're gonna do is sew the top and the bottom on, and we will be set. I got a lot of cute things at Dairy Treat. I needed to get away very badly, but in the future, it's gonna have to be longer or closer to me because I literally got to sew for a day and a half. And 12 hours on the road for a day and a half. Uh -uh. I could have closed the shop and stayed home and got a lot more done. Now I'm just gonna show the bottom on and we'll be done. Now I use a scant quarter of an inch throughout this quilt because it's a lot of small piecing. And I would re much rather my blocks be a little bit too big and cut them down, square them up afterwards, than having them too small. All right, just got to iron this one and we're done. See? Came this simple this week. No seam line, line no matching up. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We've had so much going on in the shop between fabric and everything else. It's like crazy. So block 52 and block 51. Anybody have any questions before I hit the road and get back to work? Mm -hmm. Well, you know where I am if you need me. You can always reach me by email, phone, or by Facebook. And I will see you guys later. And I'm hoping maybe in the next week or so, I will be able to have a video on the long arm because I'm dying to. I have to finish one customer's quilt that's been on there for weeks now because literally every time I turn around, it storms. And then I get to have some fun. Maybe a Mandela class or at least video. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Thank you, Sharon. Bye, Kim. You're welcome.